Go. All right. Welcome to the Old School RuneScape podcast, where we talk about RuneScape-related things, new updates, etc. We upload every Sunday, so make sure to hit that like button. It's going to be a huge-ass video. Come back every Sunday, and I hope this shirt doesn't look womanly. My grandma gave it to me. <laughs> I am Mitt Mad Cow, one of your hosts, followed by the people down below. Hey, it's Vicecoop. What's going on? It's Rexy here, boys, and we are greeted... Or not greed, I don't know what the word is. Good We're graced with the presence of a legend. <laughs> My boy Cat Tells. Uh how's it going, man? Yeah, what's up, man? Not much, just you know, bro, glad to be on the uh <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you should be oh, honored. <laughs> Dude, I'm so I'm so glad that you came on, man. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. So you haven't uploaded in a while on your YouTube, <laughs> mate. What's going on? You're supposed yeah. to be uploading like every three days. When was your last video? Wait, he uh, said every three days? <laughs> uh, I think I uploaded two weeks ago. See, the funny thing about that is, I, I always uh, have this talk with Chunk, and he always tells me on Twitter, he's like, bro, you gotta upload more. <laughs> but I always come back every, like, two, three weeks, I don't know. I just... Uh, I just do it as, like, a fun thing. I don't really try to, like, upload as much. Yeah, it's like a real hobby. Yeah. 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 Hey, that's fair enough. Dude, you get pretty good views, to be honest. Like, your last four videos are you're killing it. Yeah, some Rice, ass go ass. go check out his channel right now, dude. Right now, I want to show I want to show off those thumbnails, man. Look at these bad boys, dude. <laughs> All right, hopefully, uh, no porn pictures. Because Chunk okay. is the master of uh, clickbait, dude. This man really. All right, all right, teach apparently. teach us. Do you know in the no, last? That's not even it. Uh, in this, come on. In this <laughs> that's trying to find it. Hold on, hold on. Comments, people were really <laughs> that's not it, bro. That's not I know, it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was, was trying to see that, uh, what that game right there. Uh, Can I get the link? <laughs> Can you just post the link? Ray messaged me about there saying, "Yo, is this your game?" He was just spamming me with. Uh, uh, maybe if I type OSR. Ah, uh, there you go. That's too good, man. As you can. Wait, oh, I thought it was a Nintendo Switch. Yo, the webcams are frozen, by the way, mate. Scuffed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. My bad. My bad. <laughs> it's because so I actually had it minimized. So okay, let's have a so, look. Yeah. Look at these thumbnails, dude. Like, what? Look at all those boxes, man. This oh man my god. Boxes. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I love how they're different colors too and everything. Man, oh, that, yeah. that, that's that's a unique thumbnail for you. Like, because, you know, I don't that's, see people. There's a lot do that to learn there. You got the combat level, you got the wilderness level, you got the rocks, you got the spell he uses. Fuck, you got the guy who dies on there, you got what he says. Yeah, no, it's very consistent. Good you know. thumbnails, they man. are, dude. Yeah. I need to learn, man. Those videos are getting some views, bro. Yeah, Those man. thumbnails, man. Where where do you edit your thumbnails, Cattells? Oh, uh, Photoshop. No uh, wonder, yeah, man. Photoshop, you know. Do you take submissions, man? <laughs> Makes the rest of us look bad. <laughs> I started using it because uh, Frame told me a long time ago when I first started on YouTube. I think he told me it was either him or someone. Somebody told me to use Photoshop because I was using it. I used to make my thumbnails on Sony Vegas, and they used to look Whoa. like crap. <laughs> Sony Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, who would do that? All right, yeah. show us one when I, you did it with know, Sony I Vegas. <laughs> Oh no, it's on my old laptop, but oh, to, okay. I think if Dude. you go all the way back to my old videos, uh... Otis, alright, let's, let's have a comparison. I mean, and to I be fair, did... all, of, all of my thumbnails are made on Sony Vegas. Like, every single one of them, but they're super basic, so... Yeah. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're talking all like of mine are made too. Started. Uh, yo, some of these yeah, you could tell, are... you could tell some of these are, you know, on the blurry side, but... That's because you're taking it from the video sometimes. So and you, you can't try to enhance go for it. something right there. Boom! The boxes are coming right there. That's when they start coming. Beautiful. Yep. They yeah, make so a like, emergence. Yeah. Yeah. If you scroll all the way down, you'll see when I uh, started doing it. I'm talking about when I first started. That's when I used uh, Sony Vegas and paint. This one. Yeah, we're talking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Those yeah. Are... Oh my days! I like it. OSR oh, yeah, is splatter great, trolling, dude. Great. That's good. Oh, that's I'm amazing. Two hundred k views with that thumbnail. What? <laughs> oh, Moonscape gets know, robbed by bank robbers. Dude, of course. One of the videos of yours I love the most. By the <laughs> yeah, the funny thing videos. about that uh, is that um, when I that was actually my, I think it was my seventh video on that when I first started out, and uh, one day I was like, uh, man, I'm not getting any views. I was like getting like two hundred views, <laughs> and my first shot I was from Spark Mech, which was pretty cool. And uh, so mm -hmm. one day I was like, you know what, screw this. I'm not getting that many views. Might as well just put a clickbait video. 
and uh, I just did that and then for some odd reason that video got like 100k views in the first week I don't um, know it's not even clickbait. It's just a really shitty looking I, robber. I don't know. With money on it. Hey, no, the, the, the title though, man. Ruski gets robbed by bank like robbers. In my, in my head, I was like, you know what? That's clickbait because I was starting out, so I was yeah. like, I don't know, whatever. Just throw it, some. It you reminds know, me of those like mafia ads that you see right now, where it's like yeah. the robber and the money. You know what I mean? And it's just like, <sighs> yeah, dude. I mean, hey, look, you put you put the word "rob" twice in the title, bro. It'll get it'll get some views. Are you? Is it tagged for robbed? Maybe. I don't. I don't know, man. There's a robber in the picture, and there's robbed and robbers. The real question here is: is that is that video monetized or not? Because my guess is no. No, I didn't think it would be. Yeah, YouTube is pretty anal about that. I used the song. It was a SpongeBob song. Oh, Yo, you never know when you're gonna get like yellow marked, dude. It's just for the most An random things. An unmonetized video with that thumbnail got 200k views. I want to quit YouTube, man. What is going on, bro? YouTube does not promote unmonetized videos, honest, man. I'm not. I mean, they it. promote it, but not that much. But but if there's, I, I think if there's a counterweight, right? If there's enough traction, like by people clicking on it anyways. Apparently, man. Like, they love it, that it's like a it's like That's a balance, insane. you know. I like, mean, to be honest, uh, in exchange, uh, when I first started out with like, I don't know, 50 subs, that video right there gave me like, I think, two or 3,000 subs. Yeah, man. So, ah, that, that video right there is what made my channel. So. It, yeah, it paid it <laughs> off, man. The origin story, dude. So even if it's not monetized, <laughs> I take that as an exchange of like, you know, yeah, it's I a good, gotta... It's a good trade-off, man. Yeah, no, that's good. Especially if that was like your... You said it was your seventh video ever. That's like really good. I, I think so. I'm not sure because I had to... I don't remember how many videos I did before that. Probably like eight, nine, I'm not sure. But it was would just you, like two um, or three minute videos. Would you like to explain your content just a little bit for the people watching right now? Because I'm not sure everyone knows. Uh, so basically, uh, my channel first started off as like a community channel where I just take everybody into the wild and or do like a recreational mini games and stuff like that. So it's basically just com a community channel. We do whatever we want. So like... I guess one day I'll go like, well, I used to do them, but not anymore, but I'll yeah. try doing them, but it's just a lot of work. It takes up a lot of time, but I mean, I'll eventually I'll get to it, but basically yeah, it's a community channel. Yeah. So what, what type of videos do you focus on now? Uh, just like whatever, what, now what I'm doing, uh, like the recent videos, like just PK and bots or people just farming gold. I mean, people love that stuff. Like, looking at that, it makes me want to make a really low, like, MSB pure and just go and do the same thing. Like, that looks like fun. Yeah, because, um, I don't know, it's, it's, usually I just do whatever I want. That's the cool thing I like about my channel. It's like, I get to do whatever I want. So, like, one day I'll do mini games, uh, PK in the wild with everybody, or just PK and bots. It's like, I don't know, I come up with, like, different ideas, and whenever I come up with that, I'll just stick to it for a while. And yeah. After I get bored, I'll, I'll do something else. Yeah, because you've, yeah, cool. you've got one of those crazy defense account uh, builds, haven't you? You like seventy five. The DFS peer, yeah. Yeah. So the cool thing about that account is I made it back in when uh, the six hour log time was still in the game. So like a lot when people were nightmare zone boosting and doing all that stuff. I did uh, I I did my account at monks and I left it there for six hours every day for like twenty four hours. <laughs> So it was ah. like really, yeah. So it was like really like mental for me. It's like oh, I'd, you wouldn't have to click. Wait, you could just go away and then just every six yeah. hours you'd have to log back in. Yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. Come back every six hours. You didn't know about that, Rixie? Like, but it no, was no, like, I, I did, but I, uh, I did it with splashing. I, I didn't even think about doing it for training like defense. But yeah, that'd work. That's that's actually really, really interesting. You know, it's funny. It took them over a year to like say, oh, Nightmare Zone Six R F K is not good for the game. It's like, yeah. oh, I'm like, oh, max people, okay, bro. Wait, I'm like, it took them a year? I thought it was like three years or something. Took, it took them over a year. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> over a year. I don't oh, remember man. exactly how many years, but over a year, guaranteed. It's yeah, so man. funny, dude, because they're like, I remember Mom at K, you know, every, every uh, Q&A, they're like, we are now getting uh, analytical data to uh, see if it's bad for the game before we remove it. I'm like, what do you mean? People are getting max combat, literally sleeping. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I don't understand. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I, so I think, confused. I think it helped though. Like, like for I, I'll speak from my personal experience. Yeah. Like when Rins, when Old School came out, I would I played RuneScape free for like years, obviously pre OC and when it was Old School. 
And like when I first started playing 07, I could not be asked to train my account up. I was like, why can't I just transfer my stats over like they did from RuneScape Classic to RuneScape 2? So the fact that I could like AFK 99 Mage in like a couple months, that was huge for me. Sa same for Nightmare Zone. Like for me personally, I, I ain't got a problem with it. I think yeah. it probably did some good for the game because yeah. like people like me who couldn't be bothered to train their stats up, it just allowed you to AFK getting your stats back to where they were. But you know? but like you know you know how crazy it was? Literally you could go to sleep, go to school, yeah, yeah. and you'll still be playing the game. Yeah. The only thing that was and, good was the and, weapons price. And it's it nothing like game, it was nothing like splashing because splashing your XP rates are so horrendous. Like who if yeah. you do it, kudos to you, but like AFK Nightmare Zone six hours at a time. You were getting at I don't know, man. Even with Guthans, it was way, way more than like Slash yeah. ever get you. So, yeah. I mean, I I hate mage training like so much. It, yeah. I, I don't know what it is. It's just so boring. Like Alkin, it's probably the skill I hate the most getting to ninety four. So I remember I had like I had my alarm set on my phone every six hours. So then I could like what if I was sleeping or whatever. It didn't matter if it's three in the morning. I'd get up quickly log back in start splashing go back to bed you know what i mean <laughs> yeah. same for work i'd like try to come back on my uh my lunch breaks and just like make sure i could set it up so it continue and like in those six hours with fire strike i think it was maybe 50 60k xp in six hours like that was it it took me yeah months 10k to an hour mage. It, yep. yeah it was terrible it was really slow you, yeah. So you're saying your ass makes one bill videos in a week and you're fire striking, man. That was oh when I first God. came back. That was when man. I first came back to the game. Broke I was like, man. The, I, the I was days. a med level, dude. I, I had like fire 75 striking. defense, 75 uh, attack, 99 strength. And like mage was the one thing that I hated doing the most because it's just, you're just sat there elking, you know? It's not fun whatsoever. Yeah, I agree. It's very boring. Yeah, but yeah, Nightmare Zone was just a completely different scale, honestly. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I used to do that a lot on my main. That's my my main's actually a Nightmare Zone boosted account. <laughs> <laughs> He's a legacy of you Yo, know, let's look Jagus's it up on the past high scores, actions. Boys. Where's it at? Honestly, oh, I'm down. Oh man, you, you know what sucks down. about it too is that uh, I I didn't get the so I was lazy about it too, and I would say every day I was like, all right, I'll do it this day so I can get max. So I passed on every day, and then the day that it got nerfed, I was like, fuck, I should have just like. Yeah, yeah just... are we actually searching it up by the yeah, way? Yeah, yeah, dude, what's the name, bro? <laughs> Cattails. Oh, it's uh, no, it's my actual my account, Cattails713. <laughs> my YouTube one. Oh, so Cattails713. Oh, that's that's where your YouTube name came from. Genius. Yeah. All right, let's see the evidence of the Nightmare Zone. All right, let me look at this. Oh, slayer. Okay, slayer. 75 Slayer. No, I said uh, I stopped. I said I didn't get to max out. Yeah, yeah. He said Nightmare's so boring, dude. He's out. Yeah, you got a lot. You had a lot going on. You're yeah. close. Like, you're you pretty close. Basically, if if you Slayer well, all the way to max, you pretty much be like 99 Slayer yeah, almost. My, my PVM days are over. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, don't follow, you know, don't follow like the whole PVM standard and like screw that, you know, whatever. Yeah. Like, uh, what happened has happened, but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when yeah. I came back when I first got into RuneScape, I actually got into a lot of PVM, and then I, <clears throat> it was I actually cloned a clan, which was pretty cool. And then I stopped playing. I think around that time when I stopped training my accounts, when I lost three bill, and then uh, Dead Man came around, so I started playing that. Yeah, it's all about that Dead Man experience, bro. Because you know, what do you what do you like earlier. about Dead Man mode? Because I've seen you Brid, and you're not like you're not a Brid, right? So. Do you just like the dangerous aspect of it and building your way up, or? I just, uh, I don't know. To be honest, I just like, because I'm always, uh, I always have fun playing, like, survival games. Always, uh, oh. always playing all the games. So I just like, I uh, like uh, Dead Man because of that. It's just survival. Even if Dude. I'm, like, not the best uh, PKer, I mean, I'll try. I mean, I've had videos in the past where I've actually went PKing and tried. And even if I died, I'll still keep going back. But that's just, that's just how much I like the game. Even if I'm not that great at it, but like yeah. PK wise. I remember I introduced you to Fortnite when it first came out. <laughs> like when Fortnite what are you was doing like, with it? <laughs> like first like week of release of Fortnite, I got Cat Tails into it. He didn't upload a video for like three months, man. He was gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's Bruh, true. Where's the Fortnite uploads, dude? Come on, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, but I thought you were gonna Ninja make number two, dude. I want to see a bunch you of square boxes of Fortnite I shit. You know what's funny about that is a lot of people on my channel wouldn't get mad if I uploaded a, a, a other video that's not RuneScape, which that's that's the thing that I like. Uh, that's my great. 
Yeah, that, that's the thing about my channel is like it's a community channel. We do everything together, and also that is just like. I I feel like you probably like get a couple sneak dislikes. You upload a four. Yeah, you'll you'll have a few haters, but yeah, I'll have a I'll have I'll, a couple there. But yeah, it's, it's I I get what you're saying though because you know you are more variety ish, so yeah. people are more likely to accept, you know, more variety. Like even if it was a bigger variety, outside of Runescape, I guess. Yeah. yeah, so yeah well, I certainly not... couldn't pull it off too much because, uh, like you know, mine is like really straightforward. Only like one or two, three types of videos. So if I do anything like the outlandish, you know, I I would get a lot, <laughs> a lot of smack <laughs> talk. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's oh, a little different. Right. You know, pros and cons of both, I guess. Right, there's no I'll perfect style, man. Like, uh, it's like mostly trolling. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, that's that's why I love your videos, man. Like, what well, you've got what fourteen thousand subs? Honestly, yeah, dude. Whenever I start, I could have grown like oh 100%, a hundred percent, man. A lot bigger. I just I've been busy too much. I already like yeah, yeah. commitments. You know, that's, besides ours. That's, that's fair enough. But like, I genuinely love your fucking videos. I think they're hilarious. Like, your sense of humor is just it, it's fucking great. I've always watched your vids, and like. You um at one point you were like Mr. Mr. Bug's like go to guy, right? Like you would make videos with Mr. Bug when he was yeah. doing like challenges and whatnot and things like yeah, that. Yeah, he hit me up every uh he hit me up every uh time he had a video, so it was so I enjoyed that. That's that's the other thing that I got uh got it from like, when we used to do like all that stuff together. That's the thing that I liked. So you know I I like uh, doing stuff involving myself with the community, and messing around. Hell yeah. I mean, you've got a video on your channel here. I remember watching this. It's called Imagine If RuneScape Was In VR. It's got 2,000 views. That video was fucking hilarious. I sh uh, it was the thumbnail, actually. I didn't know how to... I didn't know it, how to... Uh... It's on the second row of uploads, Re. Like, to the Yeah, light. I didn't know how to create... I, I didn't know how to, like, uh, create the thumbnail. <laughs> it says jump scare on him, dude. Scroll wait, wait, sorry. Go, go down Oh, more this more. one? Oh, that yeah. one there, yeah. It was, it was like Minecraft, but RuneScape or some shit. Like, yes. I don't know. <clears throat> Have you guys ever played VR? Anything? No. Oh my god. I want to. I, wanna I did last I week. Too. Oh my god. It's so trippy. It's so <laughs> fucking trippy. You, you, you would not think that, oh, I'm like, my sensors are not going to get unhinged, but it did. Like, basically, you put it on, you just like, kind of don't even know where you're standing. So you're like, you're just like, you, you don't even know if gravity is hitting you. It's weird. It's so weird. Like, I did Google Earth. No, I did, uh, yeah, it's like, I played Google Earth. It's not even a game. It's just Google Earth, and you're in it. You know what I'm saying? You're in Google Earth, basically. It's actually crazy. So you're like, oh, yo, let's go to, like, the freaking Coliseum, and you're just, like, in there. You're like, what the hell is this? <laughs> you know, it's like, but it's in a picture version, right? It's because, you know, you have to, like, adjust, and you can move a little bit, depending on how much... Uh, like they recorded because like they have a team that goes out to places and like <clears throat> record take pictures of everything and compile it in there And you can like go in there with a the VR. It's so weird, dude Yeah, I have oh, one. They're yeah. pretty sweet <clears throat> are, are they yeah. expensive nowadays and what, what do you need like a PlayStation Xbox? Like, you need a you need good... PlayStation. Yeah, I uh, my friend uh, he had his on a really good laptop it was just really expensive. It was like, you know. You ran it on a laptop. Yeah, Jeez. dude. I mean, you should have seen the fans. It was like, <laughs> like super hard. I was like, what is going on? This shit's about to explode. <laughs> I've never seen it ran on a laptop, dude. <laughs> yeah, no, but the laptop is like a 1.6K dollar laptop. So it's like. Ironside uh, sponsorship. It's, it's beastly. Majed down below. Hey, Majed down below. <laughs> Make Mad Cow t shirts. It comes <laughs> so in extra you large. You can't do it on like Xbox One? <laughs> Nah, that shit would probably oh. not be able to handle it. I think that's way too low specs for that, right? Wait, I thought Xbox One and PlayStation 4 were just like the same, just yeah, slap a different yeah, brand on it. PS4 is a little better, I think. Mm. You know, if we start talking Dude. about consoles, we're going to get some dislikes on yeah, this video. Yeah, 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 boys. Come Let's on, VR, VR isn't even meta, guys. <laughs> VR isn't even meta. You can't hate on it yet. It's like, you know, barely anybody dude, even I'm, does it. I'm still waiting for the GameCube VR, dude. Come on, boy. I gotta <laughs> yeah, dude, that. I'm waiting for RuneScape VR, right? Like, imagine. Right? <laughs> waiting for the Dreamcast VR, dude. dude. <laughs> yeah, dude all you got to do... For that thumbnail, man. Google big boob girl VR. All right, slap oh, that on right. there. Like a little. <laughs> yeah, like a, I, I saw some interesting. Somewhere. Yeah, yeah Boom, we did experiment with some interesting VR dude, too. Besides would, I'd, love, <laughs> I'd love to stream some VR. Like I, I, I hate <laughs> scary games. Like games that are like jumpy and shit. I can't deal with that. If I had that on VR. I, I genuinely shit my pants. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I couldn't do it. I've oh seen somebody God. try to play that. That is it's fucking scary. Hard. 
Yeah, yeah it is yeah. scary, dude. Yo, yo, I, uh, Google Earth is right up your alley, dude. It's chill. You know, you get to visit some places. <laughs> hey, man, you know, we can't always go traveling. We can't always be traveling, all right? So you want to go to, like, France, Germany, you got it. Go to, you know, VR it up, you know? It's nice. Dude, do you know what? This is, uh, all right, I, I've not actually announced this on my YouTube yet because it's not, it hasn't been set in stone, but it kind of is. So I'm moving out uh, early next month, as you guys know. I am so tempted to get myself a PlayStation 4, get some VR shit, and just like stream it. Oh, I think yeah. That would genuine, uh -huh. I think it would be a good time, man. Oh, uh, it really, it's so fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was high when I was in it, but it was extra fun. It was really fun. <laughs> I was high. <laughs> you were high. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I didn't know you get it high. Yeah, once in a while. I mean, you know, if I go to my, if, you know, like I, I hang, I hang out with these. certain friends that they smoke a good amount. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll smoke with them. But, but yeah, it's really, it's really fun though. So, seriously. Too oh, bad I though. It's very fun, man. Yeah. If you're, um, if, if you're by yourself, it's so much better in a way. You have a you computer can that can more. run VR. I mean, yeah. I got my trusty Ironside beast. Oh yeah, like, probably. Oh, See, I would get it for your computer because uh, you yeah. have much more games on there. Much yeah. better custom okay. mods. Yeah, because yeah. you can porn, VR porn, like VR porn. Yeah, yeah uh, I'd be so down mm -hmm. for that. The only trouble is I'm gonna have a streaming yeah. room, which is effectively in a hallway, so oh, I can't really, yeah. I can't really yeah. have my VR goggles in, like jacket up. <laughs> and my mates are just gonna be. Really <laughs> So, I don't think that'd go down too well. Oh my bro, god. Bro, you see the fucking cords and it goes under the bathroom door. <laughs> Racy, what you doing in there? Nothing. Why is the VR in there? Uh, watching a movie. Yeah, not a guy alive, dude. Yeah, I, uh, we had we had experienced some of that. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird, okay? Wait, it, like, what? Is it like anime, cartoon porn, or is it like. No, no it's, like, it's um, just like. I don't know how you they do it. You, yeah. Okay. Pretend in a porno. Right? You're like a chess view. It's like a watch. You can move your head and watch. Them, yeah. You know what I mean? Like she's going down on the dock. You just sit there like, <laughs> like this, looking at it. Yeah. That's like basically. The, I mean, like, that's what I've heard. Like they, if you put your hand out and like grab her hair, like is that gonna do anything? No, or? no, no. It's like a real like, video, oh, right? Is this NASA oh, shit? No, no, so, so racy. So like yeah. A video game. Yeah. yeah. Or she's not gonna grab her titty. No, no. It's it's just it's like a real recording. The guy has like a camera that like records everything yeah. around him so like so that allows you to see Imagine on the sides and stuff having to fuck a guy with 40 cameras on his body <laughs> yeah, it's so weird yeah <laughs> it's a little weird but yeah it, it's there Jesus. it's it, it 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 definitely feels different it's different i'll check it out dude. i'll definitely <laughs> check it out if i get vr i'll 100 percent yeah but know, honestly google everything. earth is the best thing ever dude it's so cool man you, you almost you feel like you're man. in a place that you always wanted to be but you never could because you're broke so yeah i yeah, mean like you just load up Jagex HQ and just stand Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure they have that too. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Dude, I can't. They have a bar in their studio. Yeah, yeah, I, I've been in there. It's I've never like been. The Dragon Inn or Goblin Inn or something like that. Dude, tell them, invite me, man. Yeah, There's man. A bar in their workplace. Oh, it, crap. It's actually amazing. Like, it's such a cool place. Like, on, I'd love to work there. It's just, it's like walking into Disneyland every day. Like, <laughs> the equivalent to RuneScape Disneyland. Like, it's sick. Mm. Do you know what the requirements yeah, that's cool. are to work there? Six uh, years of streaming or no? <laughs> well, it depends on the know. job, right? Dude, it depends I'm on like, the job. Yeah, man, Certain... you can get like you could become a janitor. I'm sure with like, <laughs> streaming. Like... <laughs> oh my <Bruh>. god! <laughs> hey, you gotta start somewhere, dude. You know, you Fuck that, the door. dude! I'm just over there mopping the floors, trying to give Mod Archie some fucking uh, LMS update ideas. Yeah, dude, you just had the unlimited prayer. He just walks away. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, well, it, it would be a cool place to work. Like it does look sick. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, uh, man. Mod Minty, Mod Minty, dude. Uh, should we look at the new PvP updates? Somebody was talking about the new updates. Oh yeah, yeah, Cattails. What was that? <clears throat> what was the deal with that one? Because I remember you talking about it. Oh no, I was just skimming through it. Oh yeah, yeah. Where is it? About, uh... On the homepage. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, boxing well, mechanics and lots of fixes. Oh, that's look today. at that thumbnail, dude. Beautiful job. Damn, dude. That yo, yeah, you know that's some thing. ML Goody, bro. That's an ML Goody. Oh, right Goody, there. baby. Yeah, you know it, man. You know it. <laughs> Those like, for reals. For dude, reals. Beautiful. Yeah. They need to hire Chunk for the fucking titles now. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, and anything, anything that uh, piques your interest when you when you read, look at this, I did, I well, didn't look at it. So. What was the Clan Wars D Sculling one? Let's read that. Can you read it out? Because I can't really see the full thing. Oh, I, well, I can tell you what it did. Uh, but basically, if you had a skull on, if you go in and out, it'll, it'll clear it. 
That's what I used to yeah. do. So, so well, do they're, they're changing that, or this is to prevent players to fight to D skull to come back. Continue. Players who use Clan Wars free for all portal to lose a skull now we're getting back correctly if they attack the player they previously okay. skulled on. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I so, thought they were going to ruin the wilderness. Oh, man, oh, goddamn. God. So it's only so for people like that, that are going back to BK the same guy. Oh, all so right. this is like for like PvP worlds, I guess. Yeah. Rushing. Yeah. Yeah, because like okay, they could PvP skull. world ruining everything by ragging like, the living shit out of everything. Yeah. Come on, yeah, man. I ain't got a problem with that. All right, what about good. this one? Since you're into Deadman cattails, what about this one? Let's Deadman read boxing, that boxing mechanics. Uh, players splashing on each other may be attacked by other players after splashing for a certain amount of time, just as it works in Deadman mode. We, all, we have also improved this anti-boxing mechanic to make it more effective. This will reduce the number of people who abuse the boxing mechanic but also protect their mains. This applies to the entire wilderness alongside everywhere in PvP worlds. Yes, there we go. Hey, no wait, more green is, dragon fuckers, dude. I hate is that them. just PvP worlds? Or um, no, no, any wilderness. Wild. All wilderness. Wait, so you uh, can't you can't box NPCs or players anymore. Um, they you can't said boxing for too long. It so. says um to per, to uh, okay reduce the number of people who abuse boxing care with alts to protect their mains. I'm not sure about boxing NPCs. That would be cool for Dead Man, or like oh, where you couldn't. Uh, I mean that should that that was in Dead Man, and then they just took yeah it yeah they just moved it. They also applied it everywhere else. That's what he said. It doesn't work. I hope this works because yeah. I've been trying in yeah yeah you should test it i mean you'll be able to notice honestly. oh definitely oh, run definitely. into green dragons i remember somebody's trying to box a green dragon and multi yeah, yeah there's a lot of other small stuff <laughs> wait today's already thursday oh my god it's already update day but i'm glad they didn't do too much just a lot of too like much graphical as you scroll fixes. So like a paragraph yeah these text. are like small like shit dictionary. though they're all like graphical and grammar mistakes you know like whatever M mobile mm. Yeah, I don't think we care too much about that. Like, the Cable Zale ones, you know, makes sense because the update just came out. So they're doing some minor changes to Did it. Did you the drop table at all for... Uh, well, I would have to look at it. Because I know they already fixed a rare drop table in the new area. Because people were complaining oh, yeah, about the bruise and stuff. Yeah, because it wasn't noted. It's so weird. <laughs> Oh, I, I like those Reddit posts. It's so funny, dude. They're like, "What the hell is this drop?" It's like two sixty magic locks unnoted on the ground. <laughs> it's just like what? I love the comments too. They're like, "Why don't you just bank every like you know six six trips and you'll be done?" It's like, okay, yeah, dude. Anything. So wait, th this update. There's like, is there like literally nothing to it? Is it just like fixes and stuff? Yeah, just small things. <clears throat> I, I think How the you guys. How do you guys feel about that? Like, because wow. I see a lot of controversy on controversy on Twitter saying like maybe they should stop releasing updates and like focus on things in game oh. that already need fixing. Oh, you just made me tingle, dude. Honestly, oh, I have a lot to say. to say about this stuff, so um, I'm gonna All let I you have guys to say speak. Is, I'm I've guess. tried to play Last Man Standing and host it last night, right? Because my fond memory is when the game was like bumping. And you got that good ass armor and you got that dark boat and the brid and then i played it again and i realized the game is a sack of shit rng <laughs> i'm sitting there loot two chests i got a mystic hat and a blue dehyde body and my other guy has a tribrid setup <laughs> a skimmy a mage bow and a full inventory of food and i'm thinking there's not one goddamn thing i could really do with this gear <laughs> you can be the tank like I've never played Last Man Standing, but I mean, I've seen people in there with like almost max mage, like for you get third age and shit, right? You can get like yeah. oh yeah, ropes. up to right. That's the fun Dragon. part because you just build your own tribrid <laughs> setup, but the shot mechanics, the RNG mechanics, the prayer mechanics are all fucking ass. They need to be reworked, or we're gonna have yeah, a good like game. Well, well basically, pe oh, yeah, pe no. people will prayer flick the hell out of you, hard. <laughs> I going think to their Mark was playing service. in my LMS because he likes that shit a lot too and I was hosting it and he just comes up and I didn't know I think I was fighting him and I thought I had the upper hand and the man was just sitting there every time he got low selling his gear buying sharks I'm thinking god dude, damn he's it, experienced so good, yeah dude. he's experienced this is some bullshit and I'm over here tribrid and running out of runes like please please I finally got a good setup nope turns around rune scheme he's my ass I die almost broke my computer <laughs> <laughs> the fucking shittiest damn game <clears throat> Needs a huge update. Would love to see one because it's a great idea. <clears throat> it really is. Yeah. What about you? So guys? what about what about you, Cat Towers? Because you like mini games and you said you recreate them. What what mini games your favorite? Uh, 
Wait, we're talking in game or? We're... Yeah, or like a mini game that you've kind of created with your friends that's been a lot of fun. Um, honestly, I, I really don't like. I really don't like no. I guess Castle Wars. I mean, do we call that? Hell one? yeah! Yeah, that's a mini Castle game. Wars. Castle Wars. Yeah, Castle Wars is pretty fun, but I mean, after a while, it just gets pretty boring. Dude, Castle Wars is an OG mini game. Like fuck, hmm. I used to I used to grind the hell out of that when I first started playing the game. And <clears throat> I remember when I went to uh, Jagex headquarters, we had like a, a little tournament between us content creators, and like Torvesta never played it. And I was like, uh, what? Uh, I was like, I was like, you've never played Castle Wars? And he's like, no. And I took him down, you know, when you go downstairs, yeah. where like the, uh, you can get people with the- Hey, collapse them, on. yeah. Oh, I just, I just froze them. him on that and then fucking like 115 <laughs> damage. And I was just like, LOL. <laughs> Sit, I, kid. I said to him after, I was like, you've never played Castle Wars, but that's the most shameful way to die. <laughs> that's yeah. amazing. Castle Wars is iconic, man. Like when I got members after a year, my my boy took me to Castle Wars after he um, he he told me how to get a dragon longsword. It was the first time I ever hit a twenty in my life, dude. I was like, oh my god, twenty seven. I was like, the long specking like level fifty noobs. Oh, it was amazing. And I didn't know yeah, what brought. I didn't know what ancient magics were. So like, I was like, why can't I move? like half the game <laughs> but it didn't matter because anytime i had a spec i just found like a level 30 and i just spec them out with my d-long i was like yes <laughs> that was I, love great you, dude. I love those days man like you get <clears throat> yeah. burst you get bursted in castle wars and you're like oh my god this is the most fucking op thing i've ever seen in my life yeah and i was like and what happened some, i can't i don't even know dude what happened comes along in like this chainmail wizard robes and just starts putting ice <clears throat> blocks on you and you're like fuck <laughs> yo i'm ice <laughs> i'm ice cubes what the hell <laughs> No, yeah. I love Castle Wars. It was like one of the first things I did when I got members. I uh, shamelessly was a beggar. So oh. I became uh, I became members and the first thing I did, I asked the dude, I was like, hey, what should I do? And I remember he traded me like full Mithril of an Addy Skimmy, gave me a dueling ring. And he said, telly to Castle Wars and enjoy. And I just oh telly there, God. went inside the portal and I was there for like a solid month. <laughs> what a nice guy, dude. Yeah, nice Castle Wars is Giving people out. items ruins their experience. Fuck off, you fucking nah, twat. Yo, yeah, like, honestly, course, it was that or, like, fight pits I that it. I would... That's like, later awesome. on, when I had better gear, I, I did fight pits, I remember. Oh, yeah, dude, fight, fight pits, pits is <clears> lit. <throat> <throat> yeah, it's great. The thing is, I try to host, like, a Castle Wars mass back when I started streaming, and I'd have haters, and I'd have my viewers, and they wanted, my viewers want to be on my side. So I'm all geared up, right? And I look uh -huh. around, I see like a dude with a rune war hammer, I see a guy in full <laughs> granite, and I'm thinking, nah, we're fucked. We're fucked, aren't we? And then I go to the other end, and every one of the people who stream snipe me are just wearing full ancestral, staff of the deads. <laughs> literally the most one-sided garbage fight i could have ever had on stream and i'm thinking really really you're gonna make castle war shitty you're gonna make castle war shitty so you can't i love my viewers man but don't be on my side when you're wearing like full rude and a <laughs> you yeah. out of here man. Yo, there there <laughs> is um competitive castle wars people i don't really i just castle don't know wars. where they are like you know what i'm saying like i don't know which site they use but there is like a group of people that like actually do it competitively and like if you look ever ever look it up it's like not like you know official competitive but like they are really competitive as in like not, the not strats yeah as in like the strats and stuff that they do you're like wait this is castle wars you can do that like they do some crazy tip manipulation shit on on all those like barricades and like how they move around the you like corners treat, it's just crazy dude yeah do they rock a land party or something <clears throat> it's i don't really know man but there's people out there that actually like can play castle wars like building on fortnite type of deal it's like super fast paced no you can't build like on fortnite baby. no i mean like the movements like how how slick it is like sometimes like when they do barricades like they'll it's like instant it's like instantaneous setup and then they destroy it like and they it's crazy i don't know yeah, how to describe I it. it i gotta see it to believe it i don't yeah. know to <clears throat> they ever uh, patch a uh, castle ward where you get the tickets like you restart the game or something make the other team win so i know they're using people used to do that stuff oh uh, yeah i'm sure they patched it a long time ago yeah there was um <clears throat> there was like a bug with castle wars and i remember uh do, do you guys know the youtuber uh what the fuck seven you familiar yeah. with that guy yeah that so guy. He, he has like a max cape and stuff and he messaged me he was like hey you can get like i think it was like 30 castle war tickets an hour at the moment do you want to come and join me because as it is the most you can get is is it nine or six i think it's free if you win a game right is yeah free? yeah so what what it was was there was like a clan 
and they set up games in different worlds and you had to play pay this clan like five mil and they'd give you the worlds and you'd go inside the portal and then you'd hop to another world and as soon as you hopped into that world that game would end and you'd instantly get free tickets you go back in the portal hop to another world and you get another free tickets and you just do that over and over again yeah that was uh, it yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they passed yeah, that, yeah. for sure. I remember something about See, them patching yeah, it. I heard about I something fear. like that. I heard about something like that. Was that was years ago. That was a long time ago. Because um, <laughs> people would do castle wars, you know, to just kind of relive their memories, right, and moments. Yeah. And then you'd have, like, one team <clears throat> ass-blasting all these fucking noobs trying to win a castle wars game. And like I said, Forud and Arvin, I'm thinking, that must be shitty for the people who are not trying to grind it for, like, shitty, you know, little cosmetic items and just trying to enjoy the game. You're just getting fucking ass blasted by these people and fucking mics on like yeah get them on the left dude we got a guy on the rocks yeah put the barricade down these poor little <laughs> guys there's nothing they can do dude i, I, hope... I love castle wars I, yeah. I wish they could re like how do you think they could uh revive it because i think uh, if they worked on the rewards something uh, like maybe it would be more popular if you put rewards yeah no that's the players. problem with the rewards uh like strategy is that it really works for you know older players right that 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 nowadays you know like if you're old all you think about is like is it worth doing right it's always that question is it worth doing like cast wars back then it wasn't about worth doing or not it was just about wow i'm having yeah. fun so yeah. i'm just gonna do it so it's just so, we don't have enough kits i I'm feel like you make it f2p you honestly yeah a lot more i light, think they do know, have light. castle wars yeah, they do. There yeah. Is castle wars in so is i'm it? i'm sure <clears throat> that one is probably pretty lit like we are just not aware because members like you know everyone's like why are you doing castle wars that's you know like xp waste not efficient you know like well, that's kind of buddy with a regular bond <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, dude, it annoys me nowadays that people need to make money or efficiency in order to play a certain part of the game, dude. Like when I was yeah, it's, it's this, just man, the culture is giving too out strong. Cash prizes yeah. to the winners, and every yeah. time they want to be like, "Do I get money now?" Like, bitch, are you kidding me? Go do Zara if you want money. We're here to try to actually play a game, right? Yeah, dude, we're just wanna, game, you know, dude. you know, how easy it is to make fucking money in RuneScape. Yeah, it's yeah. Every, this man over here makes it a bill in a week. <clears throat> Which is Jesus <laughs> Christ fucking crazy, but still, hey, man. Free, free days, dude. Free days. Free, free yeah, days. I remember. Yeah, Twisted Bow, by the way. Go subscribe. That's just... <laughs> all I'll say it is, man. People got to get their head out of their ass and enjoy it. Yeah, no. It, it's are not going to do anything with it, that money. It's right? really it's hard, man. There. Honestly, dude. Like, I, I would say the overwhelming player base... Just, um, their, you know, their mindset is pretty convinced on rewards. You know what I mean? Mm, Versus yeah. effort type of thinking, so... But really, I, we. I think, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, but I, I was, you know, it really is just comes down to the like what you know what what type of thought process dominates the player base. Like you know, right now yeah. it's like the reward versus effort. But I was really hoping mobile would bring about like new new younger I mean, you know younger players that doesn't know anything about the game culture wise, and like they just. But it's it's hard though because I feel like they just get absorbed into the culture. Of like the XP, you know, orientated the the reward orientated <clears throat> mindset too fast. I was hoping they would like you know be able to offset that and just kind of like make people yeah. remember like, hey, it's not always about like rewards and shit all the time. But yeah, it's not easy. It's just the mentality <clears throat> of players have changed, and yeah. I feel like content creators have a lot of influence, whether it be Twitch streamers or YouTubers. Yeah, they kind of they kind of set the the bar for what people should be doing because like if you want to be good at the game, all you've got to do is go and watch like. Boaty series kind of imitate what he does follow that path and you're eventually going to have a good account which is something years ago people there wasn't really a guide to get a good account people didn't really know what they were doing whereas nowadays yeah it's so standardized you know, yeah it's very standardized definitely. yo cattails what about you man what did you used to do for fun when you used to play and when did you start playing runescape um i think i started playing in uh i think it was seven or oh six then I quit, uh, and I quit around 08 because of the uh, trade limit. Oh yeah. yeah, a lot of people quit during that time. Yeah. I don't know if I should say this when I return back, but it's kind of a mess. It's kind of a fucked up way hey, to come back it. to You were scamming kids left, right, and center. You I knew it, man. No. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I've seen that name around no, no, back in 08. It's, it's, it's IRL. So, the trust uh, trades, dude. I bet it was the fucking yeah. trust trades, No, dude. no, this is, this this is guy's more coming like up in a pub. A, I'm up this here, is more of a, like a sad story. Okay, I love sad <laughs> stories. Make me cry. Music on, man. 
So Let's basically, go. I came back to RuneScape because, um, so I just got out of high school. No, I think it was, no, no, I didn't get out of high school. It was during high school, uh, before prom, and I prom. was just coming back from, uh, getting a job or something. Then, uh, freaking big ass Ford pickup truck hits my car. It hits the wow. right side of my car, and I'm just like, fuck, I'm out of a car and everything. So I kind of, my whole back was like messed up and everything, and, uh, so, uh, I go probably like two, three months without a car and I'm just like fucking depressed and my back hurts and everything. I'm pretty much injured. And, um, so, uh, one day I, I go on my phone and I'm like, oh, you know, I used to play RuneScape. I wanted to, cause I always log back on RuneScape for the holiday events and I still do it on RS3, but I, st I think I stopped in 2011. But, um, one day I, uh, went on YouTube and I looked and I saw like this recommendation thing, Spark Mac, and I was like, wait. I remember this game. This used to be a pretty cool game back in the day. And I see it and I see the upload date. I'm like, this is like the day. This was like just a few days ago that this game come back. I was like, oh shit, you know, I'm going to start playing again. So that that game, right? So downloading RuneScape again kind of made me feel better. And uh, yep. that's where I started like PVMing and everything. I did my own clan. I did a bunch of hours, got up to three bill and then <laughs> fucking lost it all. With uh, three bill? Yeah, I got up to three bill. There's videos of it on YouTube. What were you staking? Like what? Yeah, so it kind of staking kind of ruined the PVM side for me. Yeah, that's yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I would uh, imagine. Hundred <laughs> percent. I never got into it, but um, yeah. yeah. But you had too yeah, much so, money at that point, you know. So yeah, that's well, no, that's like I the had two hundred mil oh. from doing a lot of Armado and then Bandos because oh, I used to okay. do a lot of tanking for Bandos. And, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, okay. So uh, yeah, and then it got I good, got you know. Boom. Yeah, I got good one day, and I told my friend, "Hey, you want to do some uh, uh bossing? And I mean, uh, you want to do some staking?" And he was like, "Sure, we'll put to uh, 200 mil of our own banks together. 400 mil, we've got all the way to three bill, and then we lost it all." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it sucks. Oh man, staking uh, staking kills the game, dude. Yeah, like, it, I'm it, just kill, gonna say, it, it kills a lot of the like money making, that, like that's why, fun. That's why right now I, I don't really like PVM because of that. Because of the staking, because staking kind of ruined my mindset of playing the game. Cause yeah, like, it changes. Yeah. It changes how you think about it. I'm like, when I go to Armadillo, and I'm like, well, why, why should, why can't I be here? I, I could just go get some GP real quick or whatever, and uh, just uh, staking and just like. You yeah, know, know, it sucks. Back, yeah. yeah, dude, I'm definitely in staking rehab and have been ever since like pre OC. Because in, <laughs> in pre OC, because all I did was PK. PK and staking kind of tie in together. It's like if you die when you PK, you stake the money to try and get your stuff back. That's just, you know, I was always stuck in that cycle and I always did it. So that was all I played the game for. 2007 RuneScape came out, went down the same path. I remember I got, I lost, no, I had 700 mil and I was a med level and I really wanted 750 mil because that's the price of the Elysian at the time. It was back when it was like really high. And I was like, so I need 50 mil to get my Elijah and I'll be super happy. Lost my entire bank. I, think <laughs> I, I quit for like two months and then I came back with a completely different mindset. And I was like, I don't want a fucking stake. How can I make money? And I just started doing loads of PVM. And in no time at all, my bank was like over a bill. And I was just like, why did I ever stake? But the trouble with staking is like what what's the best money maker in game right now questionably maybe tob which on average maybe yeah like, hydro know, six, TOB. seven eight mil yeah. an hour you go stake in and say you win like a hundred mil that's more than what you're probably going to earn a day. Uh, i mean you could technically win billions an hour <laughs> you yeah, know no, no, the, definitely, yeah, but then, so if, you, if you return to like say dagonoff kings and you get the best drop in value being the berserker ring which is four mil it's just like what the fuck's four mil it's like, yeah I, that's I, the problem I, I yeah. five mils like it's nothing that's the problem when you've when you've accumulated like hundreds of millions in in one like action everything like because this thing is in pv in pvm you're not gonna get those like like often at all you know no, it's usually very right. incremental so yeah, no, definitely so yeah it just it just makes your sense of value of gp like uh over it, it just waters it down, you know, because, I mean, I remember a point when 200 GP from a mysterious box literally made me nergasm, you know, back when I was younger. Like, like you know what I mean? It's just like the experience. So once you experience getting 100 million from a stake, you're just like, oh, shit, you know, and then, and you look, and then you can't go before? back. No, no, I, I haven't. Oh, okay, it's just right. I know a lot of people, like my friends you know, have. The, the attic rush of yeah. losing 200 million a second. 
Look, I, I, I play other MMOs where there are, like, um, you know, similar they types of... They have that shit in other MMOs? Oh, my. Like, dude. no, other MMOs, what they have isn't staking, but they have this stuff, like, enhancing your armor and stuff, right? And, like, you Loot know... Crates. Like, for example, um, I used to, <laughs> I, I used to play... Uh, for example, I used to play MapleStory. It was really oh, popular back in the day. But, like, there's this, there was a similar concept that it's, like, you know, you, you don't really want to do it because you'll, you'll, you'll mess up your, uh, your character in a way yeah so like you know you can spend hours and hours getting uh like uh, equipment and then you can get these scrolls to enhance right but like th there's a chance it'll blow up your equipment if it fails like if it works oh. it'll make it stronger but if it fails it'll blow it up mm. like there's a chance and yeah. and you never want to like you just shouldn't scroll because it's just terrible because you'll literally lose weeks of progress because you got fucking greedy and you want to make it a little bit stronger and you know i had so many i have had many moments where i just like fucked it over i lose my shit and i'm just like there's, there's and, and that's why like i don't that. do that stuff in runescape so i don't stake because i know i can't resist once i get into yeah. it i can't stop yeah. Yeah. so i like let's not get into it at all so i don't ever start yeah. you know basically that, that's the same for me man i've got a super addictive personality i get suckered in so bad it sucks dude like, it sucks like csgo i spent a thousand usd oh my god and crates oh. and i didn't get a single <laughs> knife dude and then my mate comes around and he fucking opens 10 crates and gets a knife do you know how angry I was? Yeah. Like, you I don't was even use a knife in CSGO then. Like, why do people want I, knives in this game? The, you know, it's addicting. That's a I problem, spent, man. I literally spent a thousand US... No joke, probably more than a thousand USD. And didn't get a knife. I got two red items that were the worst in game. It's for the MP5 <laughs> that nobody fucking uses. It's worth like $2.50. <laughs> uh, in the end, I was so tilted. I just bought a fucking knife off the marketplace for like 60 bucks. <laughs> I was like, oh, I, I need something to show for this. Imagine oh, spending a thousand dollars and just oh. having to buy a knife anyways for sixty dollars. <laughs> Mate, there, there's gambling in every game. Yeah, like, sucks. I mean, I, I played Guild Wars two for a period of time because like my real life friends were playing it, and like graphically, it's a beautiful game. I enjoy uh, yeah, it looked Guild fun. Wars two. It looked fun. It, it, it's, it's a beautiful game just to log into and just like walk around and shit. I didn't really play it too much, but you know, it is what it is. But there was a gambling thing in there where you could go to this dude and you would buy this um like essence from him or something. And you could literally spam click it, and it either doubled it, quadrupled it, or you got nothing, and it costed <laughs> a shit ton of gold. And I got into it, and I just started clicking, and I was like, oh my god, I just doubled my money. Like, three clicks later, everything's gone. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's terrible, dude. What's even the point, man? I, I don't know why, but that stuff gets me, dude. It yeah, no, me. we 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 have, a lot of people have, you know, this problem where we get greedy, and then we just, like, we go and go and go. Like, we just don't yeah. stop. It sucks. I mean, it, that's it, one that of the uh, many sins that men have. Yeah. Or humans, really. So, yeah. greed. Yeah, man. I, honestly, man, I'm greedy. I, I hate that, but it, it is what it is. <laughs> I learned yeah. that from the Full Metal Alchemist, by the way. Just saying. Oh, you watch it. <laughs> yeah, man. Get into hey, it. Man, wait, wait. Mid Back Cow, you never watched Full Metal Alchemist? Dog Girl. Don't say that, man. That. <laughs> <laughs> that's dramatic by, by the way i should have probably said my room's really dark because my bulb like blew up the other day and if you guys are wondering this is a it's a doge this like sat here oh what the hell oh you're talking about there all the time oh my god i, I thought, that was, you know. I thought that, that was your mic i thought that was your mic or something dude <laughs> i thought that was a cat i know <laughs> oh little joseph man he's so cute aren't you oh my god i can't believe you have your dog there the whole time that's a ninja dog bro it's just like, it's a shadow Look, dog. Can you see him now? Look at him. I can see the oh, tongue. Dude. I can see the tongue, that's oh, about it. You're going to let <laughs> a mouth he's you like got, that? Oh, he's got like a little bit of white, like, hair. Oh, yeah, now I see white. it. But, but like, on my on the angle of the cam, I couldn't see that. I only saw black. That was it. Yeah, right. that's actually crazy. Should, should we have a story time segment? Because I got a, a controversial story. Something happened to me the other day, if you guys want to hear about it. All what right, yeah, 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 or... yeah. <laughs> what happened to your Wait, boxers? <laughs> Right, so I've never had this before. Do you know, like, if you go on YouTube, you can find, like, a bunch of angry feminists with, like, skinheads and stuff? Oh, oh my, my god. god, I used to be yeah. into those, man. What? So, you used to be into them? What? Like, no, what are the couples? Mean? The videos. <laughs> no, the oh, videos. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. okay. No, okay. No. Oh, no, I'm still don't into those. Know, hey, man, don't worry, I'm don't still into those. Fucking... I'm still into it. Oh, it's over for me, boys. Right. It's over. Don't worry, they're actually interesting. <laughs> <laughs> they're funny. 
see so the videos. Basically, I went on a night out with one of my mates, right? And he, I'll give you a backstory. He, he's going for a tough time because like this girl's like messing him around at the moment and stuff. So he was a bit of a, like an emotional wreck. And we went out, we met some girls. I liked one of the girls. We got invited back to their house afterwards. We went to the house and one of the girls there was like, you know, full skinhead feminist effectively. And my mate's there and he's absolutely fucked. Like absolutely smashed out of his face. He can barely keep his eyes open. And I'm sat there on the couch, and I'm playing. Uh, I think we were playing Mario Kart on the on the oh, PlayStation God. or whatever it was. The trigger cards. Skinhead game. feminist. Yeah. I'd still play some Mario Kart with her though. I'll tell and you that. My, yeah. my mate sat there, and he's like, you know, he's drowned his sorrows. He's not feeling very good. He's he can barely keep his eyes open. And this skinhead feminist that sat next to him, I just hear her say, "So, what are your views on Trump?" And I'm sat there, and I'm like, "Oh no, is this really the conversation we're no, going to have over. at four, four o'clock in the morning? This is four o'clock in the morning. I'm like, this is not the conversation that I want to have." First off, you guys aren't even in America. Why the fuck? No, you exactly. Know? I'll tell you. I'll tell oh, you. Yeah. I'll, I'll add on to it later, whenever you're ready. I don't right. even know what yeah. runs your country. Why the fuck? <laughs> so this, yeah. this girl, this girl, and at this point, I don't know if she's a feminist. I just know that she's like political, and she's a very well-spoken girl. You know, she's clearly from like a. She said she was from a Catholic school, which is like you know you go so, to school by the. So church she thinks stuff. she's smart, is what you're saying. Yeah, and it right. So they're talking, and my mate's absolutely out of it. Like his <laughs> eyes are like this. He can barely keep his eyes open. He's like really down and stuff. And uh, he, you know, he tries to answer back, and he's talking to her, and he's like, you know, these are the good things that Trump has done. Uh, you know, he he basically said he's created a lot of jobs for Americans. That was pretty much what he said. And she was like yeah. firing questions at him, like bam, 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 that were just trying to trip him up. Yeah. And she was like completely sober. He could barely keep his eyes open. <laughs> yeah, and why? The, the thing that got me, like the point where I interjected and like lost my shit was she said to him, to summarize, you like Trump because he's created jobs for Americans and because he's a, a woman sexual offender or something along those lines. <laughs> And at that point, I just snapped, dude. Something in my brain just went boom. And I, I, I was like, look, I was like, look. You punched him. I know, yeah. I'm just saying, <laughs> for other reasons. After like, like Armadale, come on. I, I said to her, I said, look, like you can't ask a question like that because that's a double-barreled question. It's like, why oh, no, can't right? it be one and not the other? You know? Yeah. I, I, and at it, it, that point, she started like raising her voice, and obviously, I started raising my voice. And, and then it was, clear, it was clear at this point that basically she was getting off on the fact that she was tripping my friend up. And yeah. I, I was like, I was like, look, Ego I, was like, trip. I, was like, I was like, what are you getting out of this? I said, my mate sat here. He's a bit heartbroken right now. He can barely keep his fucking eyes open. And you're asking him about politics at four o'clock in the morning. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck is this conversation you're having? Dude. And, you know, she, she didn't like that very much. And then we started talking over each other. And it got to a point where I was just like, look, I was like, listen, I was like, you clearly have some well thought out opinions on this. You're obviously very passionate about what you're talking about. And I said, if you're that passionate about it, I said, why don't you do something about it? Damn. And with that, it was just the Ooh. end of the conversation. Oh. Talk to me. Yeah, no, <laughs> because, because the thing channel. is, she's she's on an ego trip. She's trying to self-validate her her Maybe opinions. You just tell a video and then walk away. Did you just drop the mic? <laughs> yeah, he's like, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> but like, he, cool. he just uh, dropped that. Like, <laughs> he said, I'm out. Peace. <laughs> it, it was just, she was trying to trip my friend up. And yeah. I was really annoyed about it, you know? Cause nah, she was she taking advantage. Me. It was not cool. Yeah, That's not 100%. Cool, and she was getting off on it, dude. Oh, yeah. Like, ego trip, dude. 100%. Huge ego trip. You know, the worst and, part about people that do that is that it's never their own opinion. It's always somebody else's and yeah. they take it to heart and they don't do any research or any fundamental facts and they just think their friends a God. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. But like, you know, you know how it is. Trump is a very controversial topic. So it's yeah, very it's polar, quite, right? It's very polar. So it's not the topic you want to have for discussion. Yeah. yeah and so you typically now. don't want to talk to people about it anyways, you know, unless yeah. it's like a really close friend and you understand how they're going to handle these type of you know what I mean? Because like you just can't go up to a random guy. Like, how do you feel about X super controversial, you know, topic? It's like, yeah. I, like I don't want to talk to you about that. It's like exactly. I don't know you. Like, I I, w I wouldn't even have the discussion with her because like we all have our own faults and opinions. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's like I 
A, don't care enough. B, I'm not researched enough and I don't know enough about it to really have a conversation about that kind of thing. Because another thing, it's not even our fucking country. I'm in the UK. I don't give a shit what you guys right? do. You guys can do as you please. It, it's whatever. Um, but basically, I found out she was a feminist because I, I, I kind of Oh, you can, her off. you can tell. <laughs> I, I, I pissed her off later on because I described something as being a badge. And I said, so I, was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, I was like, such and such is a badge. And she, a... Got really, she got really funny. That was like the next thing she said to me. She was like, you know, she looked at me dead straight. Like, what do you mean? Why, why is being a badge a bad thing? And I was just like, well, I was like, I would Have you smelled them? A... <laughs> I said, I said, I would call it a pussy. But I don't think that would help the situation. <laughs> so, you know, I, I was kind of drunk at the time. But we, <laughs> yeah. did, we did end up having like an interesting conversation because I'm the kind of person like whether I agree with you or not, I am interested to know other people's opinions and how people get there. So I like heard her out. We spoke about it for like an hour. I said to her, I said, "Look, if you're into politics. You didn't like the fact I described something as a badge. Are you a feminist?" And you know, she was really awkward and like defensive, and she was like, "Yes." And I was like, "Okay." So I was like, "You know, entice me. Like, what do you believe in?" And so we end up having like a long conversation about a bunch of stuff. And uh, in the end, in, in the end, she said to me, you know, and it was really honest what she said. And I really appreciate her saying it. She said, uh, the trouble is I'm surrounded in a bubble with people who think exactly as I do, yep, which I have to is. give her mad props for yep. saying that, you know, she, she was honest about it. And it was probably because I let her speak. Like I didn't speak over. Her. I just wanted to hear what her thoughts and opinions were. And like it, at the end of the night, I gave her a hug and I was like, look, I don't think we're ever going to agree on most things, but I said, you're entitled to your opinion. And you know, I'm glad that you're passionate about something at the very least. And that, I mean, that was it. Dude, I mean, it makes yo. it worse, dude. Cause she knows <clears throat> that she's a dumbass, and she still hangs around with those people. <laughs> oh, I mean, no, but the thing is, is that you, yeah, the reason why I'm a bitch is but, but the thing is, Rexy, <laughs> Rexy kind of like opened up the bubble a bit, you know? Put a yeah. bitch throw her back in the bubble. Fuck her, dude. I mean, no, I mean it's cool though. Bitches, I mean, hey, you look. Know about it, man. You yeah, made her. Uh, you made her think outside of her comfort zone. You know. Yeah. She and just admitted she's a whatever. sheep. She's like, yeah, I don't think for myself. I yeah, know. I mean, let's be honest. I'm a sheep a lot of times too. So you know, like, well, I mean, I'm in my own fine. personal bubbles most, too. Most so. people are, but I'm really glad that she was able to say that. Yeah. And I mean, it, we did have like quite a productive dialogue. Because uh, effectively what I took away from it, what she wanted was a perfect world, right? So she wanted a world, we started talking about how men are like fixers and doers and women are like emotional and, you know, they have all the emotional stuff. And she basically wanted a world where everybody was brought up to have the best of both, right? So every single person had that emotional side and also had that fixer mentality. And, you know, I said to her, I said, you know, I completely agree with that. That'd be amazing. That sounds perfect. But I said, let's be realistic for a minute. Like, we're living in the real world. I said, this is an example, a scenario which happens and it cannot be avoided. I'm like, what if a little girl's brought into the world and then suddenly her mother passes away? Like, I know it's hor horrific, but that happens. And then that, that little girl isn't going to get that emotional side that she needs from her mother. So I said to her, I said, like, I, I know what you're supporting and it sounds great. But realistically, you're fighting an uphill battle that you're never going to win. And I said, what's the point in being so like negative and defensive about this stuff and so angry at people for something that's like just never going to happen? And that's just the truth of it, you know? Well, yeah, I, I agree in a way because um, I've actually like hated feminism at the moment because it's called third wave feminism, right? It's these women who... They say they, they fight for these causes, and then what do they do? You know, they're just shouting, you know, they're running around nude in the streets, yelling at people's dicks and talking shit about the president. That's not even their country. Well, back in the day, women actually fought, like, voting rights and schools yeah. and fair education. I'm thinking, you have so much more resources at your disposal. You're going to sit and bitch in, like, a room and drinking wine. Like, fucking, it's literally the most backward-ass thing most <clears throat> people know. And that she knows that she's a part of it. I mean, she could say all those things, man. Well, look, I mean, day, for man, uh, Rick C's, uh, you know, the, the person that he, she, you were talking to, I mean, I'm sure she's changed a lot since then over time because, because like, you know, we're all sheeps in a way, right? Like, you know, we have our own circles of people that think the same. I still do, right? <laughs> 
But at the same time, I realize that you know that's not the whole world. You know, oh, that's not yeah. all the perspective. Like the moment you realize that, because like there's people that are all c- completely close, and they're never willing to accept that there's you know other ways of thinking. Like those people will, you know, what I mean, those those people are screwed. Because so that's they, the thing. That never open a sheep up. is um, <clears throat> not somebody who has a way of thinking. It's somebody that takes that way of thinking from somebody else without thinking about it. Yeah, our yeah, way yeah. of thinking, we want, you know, I don't see somebody drink a beer and go actually you know yeah i want to be yeah what i'm saying is it's not black and white different like that yeah Yeah, i'm not saying i want a beer because i like beer not because somebody told me to like beer you know what i mean Mm -hmm. just how somebody told these women yeah hate men because it's just easy to hate instead of actually love and here's why we can do it because of all this shit here and just yeah no it's 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 hard to critical think it's very hard to critical think i i think she was um confused on a few matters like she brought up like rape for example oh, whoa. and oh. we, we had a drinking topic no like exactly this, this this was like a real and conversation you said you had this at 4 a.m yeah yeah it was probably like five maybe six i don't even know if you can sleep after that oh. one dude we're know. not making rape jokes on the podcast yeah, right we're not. now we are okay. not. and i'll just oh. right. so she, she she had like statistics and all oh. of that stuff and i was just like okay i was like look I was like, if we're talking statistically, because she was talking about girls that get raped who are like walking to their cars and, you know, some dude comes over and does whatever. And I said, I said, look, if you're talking statistically, I said, what about guys that get raped by girls? I said, statistically, guys it don't actually fess, lot. they don't fuss up to that stuff. Like, you're never going to hear about your mate that's being raped by a girl. Do you know what I mean? It's never going to happen. Mm-hmm. Or a dude. Yeah, or, yeah it, it's never going to happen. If your dick gets touched, you don't talk about it. That's the hush <laughs> That's just bro. like, you know, comrades yeah. in arms. And I, I said, <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> that, No, that, that's, right? that's the trick. You know, that's the trick, right? You convince yourself. Yeah. You know, it's I, just I locker said, room stuff, you know? <laughs> I said to her, I was like, look, I was like, I think 99.9% of men and women would agree that rape is a fucked up thing. It's disgusting. And everybody shames it like it's not good we know it's not good it's horrible we despise those who do it and i said i don't even think this is like a feminist like argument review this is like an asshole fucking thing this is an asshole issue this has nothing to do with feminism this is an asshole that's doing this whether it be a girl or a guy but it's not a feminist issue this is just an asshole issue do you know what i mean yeah, a lot of people do get. Re- Never mind. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, I get it. You know, it gets it, it's very you know deep. Where I'm going with that? Yeah, it's very um, deep, very deep. That's why. That's why I kind of like hate feminists now because they take these ideas that it, you know are not good for anybody you know, of any gender. No one wants to get raped, okay? And they just kind of take it as a female only issue, like abuse as well. You know, how many fucking thick armed ladies are slapping their man around all the time and laughing? It happens all the time, dude. No one cares. Know, You're not gonna go to work with a hammer. I mean, on your yeah, face. no. Like, like the thing is, is that, uh, like, like it's all—it's always about like, oh, which one is getting more of it than the other one? But, but yeah, yeah, happens. yeah. That's what they're saying. Like, that's how they're thinking about it, right? They're only—they're only—they're mm-hmm. fixing it in the idea that a larger group is dominating a, a, a smaller. Yeah, when feminism, when it's more, when it's really, yeah, yeah, yeah. When it's more about like it happens to anybody, and we should just, you know, stop, stop. Yeah the activity in yeah, general cattails rapes people with black chins all the time dude uh-huh. little dudes yeah uh, anyways uh this video is probably gonna get a decent amount of uh, traction and like uh, con- you know controversy so you know you and get... some demonetization uh, <laughs> yeah yeah we, yeah, we didn't no we didn't say the r the, word uh, we said grape okay we said grape <laughs> just say grape five times and you know I, I had a dream i had a dream about the podcast and uh rice cup was like hey guys what do you want to do with the money that we've made so far. Where she's like, let's just split it up. And I'm like, let's put it back in the pocket. He's like, nah, we want it right now. So everyone, I'm like, all right. And everyone got like $5. <laughs> I'm thinking, why the fuck did I just have that dream, dude? <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to be a diplomacy between us. Soon dude, podcast dreams, man. Well, let's think, you get a quarter, program. you get a quarter, just like it. <laughs> let's put on a mutual fund guys don't split don't split mutual fund <laughs> let's invest it dude <laughs> cryptocurrency baby bitcoin round three let's go yeah, yeah man. when it equates to a bitcoin and worth i don't know how much of the bitcoin's worth right now but then we're split it then several we're thousand like, we're like 10 bucks right now so get... <laughs> i say we hire it so we can there. pay to get ninja on the podcast dude <laughs> yeah, yeah just from you... a bitcoin dude yeah so <laughs> can you really promote on your streams how much would it take 
<laughs> a Bitcoin or like 20k? Or something like it was like, like it was it, no, I think it was like 8k. Yeah, it was 8k or, yeah, it was 8K or, or something recently. Oh, that shit plummeted. Maybe I'm probably thinking of when it was like pretty Whoa. high. I mean, apart, t two what? years ago, a year ago, it was like 18k, right? For a I almost bought one when it was Dude, huge. Bitcoin, Bitcoin is 2,700 2, pounds. Now. That's yeah. like 4,000 USD. When oh it shit, one, it went down so much. That, that's oh, three, three and a half thousand USD. Last that's time I checked, damn. hey, last Dude, time I checked back, like a month ago, it was like 8,000. <laughs> back when it was rising Holy shit. Um, and people were starting to get hype about it, I was over at my uncle's. And he's telling me, yeah, you got to get in this Bitcoin thing. And he had like a hundred of them, right? <sighs> and I'm like, okay. Have and you then sold it then? We leave, we leave the vacation. And then like the next week it goes up to $10,000 from a thousand. Like this motherfucker just made a mill <laughs> on vacation. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah. That was insane. At its absolute peak, Bitcoin was 19,650 US dollars. Was it really? Yeah, it was. I remember I was in school and, you know, people were like freaking out because college kids are like, man, I could have, you know, paid all my debt if I had a few Bitcoins. Like, she. Like, I was yeah, trying to right. buy one. I couldn't figure out the wallet. Now it's so easy, but the wallet back in the day was probably still easy. I was just a dumbass. I couldn't figure <laughs> it out. Mm -hmm. Dude, yeah. that's nuts. That, that is actually crazy how much that's plummeted. Yeah, it's kind of like RuneScape Merchant, you know? You never know when shit's so just going to... merch clans. Yeah, you never know, man. <laughs> you never know when something just, like, skyrockets 20-fold, you know? Uh, oh, I remember when the Zora teleports did that. Yep, um, that Zora teleports. Oh my you God, know what's funny, dude? You know, like, <laughs> I used to have so many of those, and then I sold them one day, and then yeah. the next day they went up all... Are you kidding me? How many did you have? I think I had over like 50k or something. Yo, I, oh, yeah, yeah, God. dude. Hey, it I, used to drop like 50. Mil. It used to drop 50 teleports at a time. Yeah, because wait, I, really? Was yeah, it that many? 50. Yeah, I used to oh, 50. See, when it first came out, that was the boss that I used to do a lot. I actually yeah. really got a guide. It was so. Each. It, it was so, so stupid. And I'll, like just keep them and hoard them. Yeah. No, the worst thing was is I I remember doing it on release days, like release week. But oh my god, the stuff that Zara used to draw was insane. But back to the teleports though, it dropped fifty at a time, and um, that was before GE came out. So there was like the the trading system in the game. I don't know if you guys remember it. There's like a trading post. Oh yeah, trading post. Trading post. Yeah, that oh, was yeah, yeah. trying to get yeah. that going. Yeah. So so I, I like I, I just remember you know I, yeah I had like fifty k hundred k at the time or something. I had a lot. I would sell them every day because you know why it was dropping in price so much like. I think for a while, you know, like I was selling it for like 70 GP each, like a teleport, 70 GP each. And then the next day it was so bad. I, I had to liquidate them for like 40 a pop, you know? So, yeah. so yeah, it was that, there was that many and that common. And uh, I left like, I don't know, I think I left like 500 in my bank just cause you know, why not? And like I log in one day on my main account. I didn't play for a while, you know, on it cause I was playing. I log in one day, I look at the price, I'm like, Wait, these 20K? are twenty k each. I'm like, what <laughs> happened? What the fuck? I had like a hundred thousand of these. Comment section. Oh, Tell us me, how dude. much cattails lost by selling them early. All right. I know. Fifty thousand times twenty k. Let's see the So sad, down. man. I actually used to do Zora for money to stake, which was. <laughs> oh god, the irony. <laughs> yeah. Ah uh, yeah. I feel like your te your teleports could have been a car in real life. Hmm. It could have. I mean, I, I'm not gonna. Yeah, I used to it, like I'm hoarding saying. like a bunch of weird items. Like I would hoard like uh, vials, uh, watermelons. Uh, uh, just a bunch of <laughs> yeah, <laughs> watermelons, dude. Watermelon, yeah. <laughs> chicken. Yeah, were you one of those guys? Broken Wait, oh, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Cooked, cooked bird. The cooked chicken. <laughs> Wait, I, I think actually hoard the I would actually bird meat. The chicken too, which was <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> God Yo, that it, tasted dude. extra crispy. I bet. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> milk. <laughs> oh, I, at one point, I had ten mil vials, which was. <clears throat> that, Damn. Wow, yeah. that's, that actually sells for stuff mil. too. Yeah, I wanted a hundred mil. That's like ten mil. mil GP, right? Uh, yeah, it's like what ten GP each now or something. I don't know. They, they used to be like fifty. Like one GP. Oh, one or two, right? water ones were were something. Oh, that's more. waters. That's that's waters that I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you like... think old school RuneScape is the only game that has hoarders like this? I mean, I've never gone mm, into a game and someone's supposed nah, like Fortnite, think... Fortnite skins or something. You know? I just oh, thinking... yeah. No, like P PVP based games probably don't have hoarding because you can't. It just disappears. But like yeah. MMO games, oh, hoarding central, dude. 
Yeah, are you I'm a hoarder. Warcraft and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah it, 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 MMO, MMO, I feel like, yeah, RPGs. but not like RuneScape wise. There's no one rocking like a mill fucking pebbles in World of Warcraft, <laughs> probably, right? Well, like, I mean, most MMOs doesn't have a bank that lets you hold like 800 shit, so it's different. <laughs> so, so it's perfect for hoarders. For yeah, you. RuneScape people, is hoarder central. Yeah, who keep all their fucking socks from childhood? Or yeah, because because you you, you most chickens. It, it, the crazy thing is most here. MMOs, you know, it's like 30 events and that's it, you know, per like section. And and maybe some of the more greedy ones you can buy expansions, right? Like, but even even so, you're still not going to get an 800 bank spot. So, I'll yeah. Walk Warden, man. You need, they need to increase the uh, limit on the bank because I've already oh, yeah. Yeah. limit. Yeah, every, Dude, on every account, every <laughs> fucking account, I, even my peer. How? Yeah. How? How? Also, the, fr uh, the friend list, too. That's yeah, like, man, that's need, it needs a bit more. I wish you could sign up for unlimited friends list or just like be able to talk back to people that PM you without yeah. having to add them. Just something. Yeah, just yeah. I, I don't want to talk back to spam bots, but yeah. I mean, they could make it so like you could use a bond to get like an extra fifty people on your friends list. The only thing is, I remember there was a video. Nah, I see, it, I that's kind of. It might have been Michael RS. He did like a, a video where he was testing. Having no friends on your friends list, and then having a max out friends list. It's faster. Yeah, it, it was say I don't know if it was like CPU or whatever, but it was way faster if you had no friends on your friends. Yeah, list. it's just your loading times in a game would be a lot faster because it would. So you're saying our Iron Men are more efficient? Well, I still if have like no friends. max <laughs> friends list though. That's the problem. So. Yeah, uh, I, I I hate it, dude. Because uh, people want like me to add them and stuff, and I feel bad. And yeah. I'm like, if I add you, I need to remove somebody. Do you know what I mean? You know yeah, what I, I say? If I add right. you, I need to add everybody else, but I'm not going to have space. I so. You're, uh, I get but, yeah. like, a bunch of requests. Yeah. And you, yeah. just, you just add them to the, your ignore list, don't you? Can't yeah. <laughs> no, my ignore list is full of, like, raggers. <laughs> yeah, dude. raggers and, like, spammers. <laughs> oh, God. People coming into my CC and dropping the, you know, yeah. <laughs> the, the chicken bombs, man. The macaroos, you know. Fuck yeah. me. All right, do we have any more subjects we want to discuss? Or have, have you guys got any funny stories you want to tell? Cat tell, speak up, man. Tell me something funny. Tell me a funny story. Intrigue me. <laughs> tell me about your feminist. Well, may views. Maybe about your RuneScape uh, do you activities. Believe in you abortions, know? Do you Some funny stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we need to get back on more RuneScape ish Actually, stories, no. though, you know? Uh, well, it's not RuneScape stuff, oh, okay. but I would go with my. Uh... My other friends uh, that play uh, like they're like voice impressionists and we uh, voice imp I, I don't yeah. know yeah 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 voice mm -hmm. actors yeah. or whatever whatever you call that um, yeah we'd go into another game and we'd show these like feminist chicks and it'd just be <laughs> a pretty funny thing like oh, I go in there as a Lord. black guy and then these uh these I don't know just hurts me Tyrone <laughs> yeah, yeah give us your black boy voice can you do that in a black guy uh, <laughs> yo you know it's funny too I wanted to actually make a video on that but I don't know if I'd get like. Uh, I get comments like, "Oh, you, you racist." I feel like the way the community is, right? I, I feel like they would accept it, and I don't know I if think, I'm proud. Yeah, of I mean, if you make it obvious that it's a joke, you know, and but and like if you know. Now that don't... I've said it, because I was gonna actually make a channel like that, that it was just gonna be a like a secret channel, no one would know. I would just distort my voice a little bit, and I would just like go around peeking as a black dude or. You know, <laughs> Oh my uh, god! <laughs> now that now that secret's gone, so yeah, it's over. I'm yeah, stealing it. it. <clears throat> That's my new series, man. Just <laughs> framed, upload the Pretending video. Pretending to be a black guy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my right, god, yo, that's too boy, much. <laughs> let's wrap it up then, boys. Yo, Cat Tales, where can people find you? What are your social medias, dude? Uh, Twitter, YouTube, that's it, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> fucking Christ, yeah. So YouTube. If they go to Twitter.com, check it out. You'll find your Twitter. Oh wait, it doesn't show. <laughs> Facebook, right. MySpace. Hey, like dude, it. we'll sort you out. We'll sort you out. Down we'll sort you out, brother. Cattail713. Here we go. Make sure you guys go and subscribe for some juicy content from Cattails. Yeah, 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 for some juicy so thumbnails, <laughs> please. <laughs> Check you out need those to thumbnails. update your Twitter bio, dude. It says you got twelve thousand subs on YouTube, man. You're slacking. You got yeah, man. Paid. Yeah, you gotta edit it all the way to the single decimals, mate. <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> update it every single day. <laughs> yeah, every single minute, you know. You should have like a, a viewer account on your Twitter, which is like plus forty today. Plus <laughs> yeah, yeah. Today <laughs> I gained forty, fifty, a thousand. <laughs> right. Yeah. Anyways, cat tells mate. Thanks a lot for coming on, dude. It's been a pleasure. Much love, mate. Yeah, mm -hmm. no problem, dude. Anytime. Hit me up whenever you want again. Hey, will do, man. Fun. Yeah, Mimic Cap, we're gonna promote the channel. <laughs>
Oh yeah, uh, Maja t-shirts in description. Our Patreon for our nude calendar. Uh, yeah, my webcams special code. My webcams, <laughs> <laughs> my free webcams. For some uh, finger play and uh, hit the sub button. New vids yeah. every week, every Hell Sunday. Yeah. Please subscribe also, and like the video. <clears throat> Guys, <laughs> the next guest that should be coming on is Aiza. I want to say Mod Aiza, but he's not Mod anymore. Spoilers, so mate. Oh, hey, dude. Like the video now. Somehow. Okay. So, I, I, it's either going to be Aiza or Night and Air that are coming on next week, but they're both down, so oh, look out for those videos. We don't let you females know, you know on this podcast. Yeah, you know what's funny about Niner? She asked me on, on her ignore list. <laughs> oh. I wonder why. Because no, I, I came in her chat and I was trolling, and uh, <laughs> yeah, she put me on ignore list. Oh, <laughs> what were you, what were you bad, saying? Man. Let's hear some of these words, mate. What were you, oh, no, what were you... I, I just came in here. I was like, yo, what's up, my niggas? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Why? But like the oh thing. Okay, look. The, the thing. What I don't understand is from UK, right? Like if you say, so yo, yo, you're like, yo, what's up, my nigga? You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> if you say that in UK, they think it's the ER word. But oh anywhere, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess it just depends on the person. I, I don't <laughs> guess that's because even even when I talked to Bug about it, he even thought I was saying like the the ER. The hard word. R, yeah, the yeah, hard I was, like, R. Saying yeah, hard R. I'm like, no. Even the A words only for SoundCloud rappers. So yeah, sorry, no, like we can't use it on Twitch and stuff. We can't even use it on Twitch to be honest. What's the A word? Just, it's, it's, it's like it's like I'm what's up homie you know? okay. it's like what's up homie you know but you don't want to like it's still controversial though because a lot of people don't accept that as like, like oh I, I mean i don't mind like i say it all the time and i don't but i don't say it on my videos yeah because you know why because you know there's a lot of people that won't you know like that which yeah. it's like sh nah, man you know it's like whatever but you nah, gotta it's not it's not really that people wouldn't like it it just depends on like uh because you're, you're exactly international like you're, like yeah it. that's but that's like, the thing you're international on your youtube right it's not like you know your group of boys is anybody so you know just gotta be careful you can end up sometimes. like the next pewdiepie playing fucking pubg like, on the bridge mate yeah because <laughs> i mean i i mean uh i've talked to oak dice plenty of times and me and me and him say it all the time yeah so. yeah oh, like you guys are okay with it yeah I, I get it like you know what i mean i get it. it's just like for there's a lot of people that don't you know what I mean? They won't accept that. And I'm not I'm not gonna spend time to tell them. Yo, they're just saying what's up, homie, basically. Yeah. But I'm not gonna like try to convince them because there's too many to try to convince yeah. and I don't got time for that, you know? So like if yeah, you guys can use it with your group of people, I don't care. Right? I but used it's to say it on my, yeah, I used to say it on my old videos, but then like I yeah. don't know, I, it didn't get monetized or anything, it was just like People would know. tell you, right? They'd be like, What what the hell? No, man? they wouldn't tell me, I just like uh you know, because I used to swear a lot in my old videos. Me and because I remember being when I used to do the videos of Bug, we used to swear a lot and just drop f bombs. Yeah. To everything. <clears throat> kind of like had to like censor myself a little bit so I can keep it like. Yeah, tone it down like a little friend, bit. Yeah. yeah, friendly with the viewers and stuff. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, like you can't really like sacrifice, you know, your your individuality too much. But yeah, as like a professional, like you gotta think about it in like the professional aspect too. I, I don't yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to say that. I don't know, but y'all said y'all said the y'all said that other word. Uh, yeah. R I, word. I don't. What's the uh, a? Right? I know the R word. What's the A word? It's the same thing, except instead of E R, it's A at the end. That's the oh yeah, I yeah. I thought you meant a it's, word beginning with A. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the the most famous word that P cares use in the wild. Like <laughs> you see that all the time. Dude, you yeah, know what's so fu I hate that they don't. Uh, I report so many people and none Nothing. of these guys. Not the, give me P mod, I'll clear them out, dude. Just give me P mod. Yeah, this man. is too. Give P mod man. to people who don't do anything. <sighs> they just sit there in the GE talking to their buddies, fletching logs, dude. Use your fucking status, man. That's the whole point. <laughs> not one damn thing. There are probably I no P modded I've, I've watched your streams, man, and I don't know it's... how the hell <laughs> those guys don't get fucking muted. It's disgusting, dude. I wish I had some pool or something. Yeah, man. there's just not enough people like, to like it, moderate like, that stuff. It's like it. It does. Uh, you say it over and over, and like there's a point where it's just like, oh well. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> you could try to bring loads of attention to it, man. Make like a, a ten minute compilation of it, and then just upload it on like YouTube, Twitter, throw it into uh, Reddit or something, and I don't know, maybe something. Yeah. Happen. It's a lot of effort. Yeah, but like, hey, that really was me. A minute one oh four. Hashtag yes, famous. So then, all the trolls would be like, "This guy doesn't like the N word." 
Guess what yeah, this and this guy's gonna put us on his videos now too. Fuck that. Yeah. All right, maybe that's not. Maybe it's not a good idea. Yeah, it's okay. the worst idea. Incoming dude. dislikes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're probably yeah. gonna get some heat for for this yeah, we can get podcast, but it's all good there. though, you know. That'd be great. Yeah, so our, we explained last, it. Last episode did really well, so I mean, it's, oh yeah, uh, yeah. Still it, waiting for that good. settled shout out. No, I'm uh, <laughs> Imagine. Uh, oh man. I don't, I don't, oh, what do you mean heat for like the controversial stuff that Rixy was talking about? <laughs> I, I feel like what well, I said. No, they like that story movie. though. A lot of people like that story. Oh no, no, I don't know about this one. This one's a different one. You know, this one's more like it might bring in a few people to talk about. It. It's okay. It's though. like the blind side. Very simple. Yeah, the black or is it what feminist. I said? Because I mean, oh, I that too, perhaps. Time. You know, I have a feeling we might get a few, but it's all good though. You know, whatever. We'll just... Yeah. If people want to be offended, let them be offended. Yeah. I'm not gonna lose any sleep. Yeah. I'm gonna lose or, so much sleep. Joking, Matt, if or, I see one dislike, as long as I didn't say, or, okay, I was I'm only lose listening. My shit if I see any dislikes on this guy, or, or what you could do is cut out this part. Boom. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Here we we don't. Rise. We don't want to censor too much stuff. Honestly, I, I feel like we're good though. Right. But yeah. Anyways, we're trying to cut this podcast. Goodbye, cat tails. Thanks for coming on. <laughs> yeah. Fuck off. Yeah, stop being racist. <laughs> Screw off, <laughs> homie. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, boys. Yeah. Much love. I'll see you guys on another Sunday. Bye-bye.